3.2K, which was crazy. 4.1K in revenue and we have $11,000. So overall, guys, the total profit for this two week run was All right, what's good guys? So my name is Ant, and this is just gonna be a little Shopify dropshipping case study on how I went from zero to 80K revenue in exactly two weeks. And it's also just gonna be a little bit of a backstory because I'm like a lot of you guys and you know, I do TikTok dropshipping and you know, I'm testing products all the time. And this was just kind of like the whole like start of my e-commerce career and where everything like really took off. And it was also the biggest learning experience for me. So we're just gonna get into all the back end issues that I had as well and just everything that I learned. So the first day that I actually tested this product was the 9th of June. Um, as we can see here, like the first through the eighth, I had a different product I was running, but you know, this is probably similar to a lot of you guys. Like I couldn't get it profitable and it was like so inconsistent. So the first day I tested this was uh, the 9th of June. And if we go in the ads manager here, uh, we spent 70 bucks and we got back a return of $391. And this was 131 bucks profit right on the first day, which was insane. And it was such a good sign. So what I did for this, it was literally just a $50 CBO that I scheduled at 6 a.m. And I even live tweeted about it, like right in the middle of this. Uh, it was just going off and I was getting sale after sale after sale throughout the day. And I bumped the budget from 50 to 70. Um, right now, like if this was happening and I was getting like a crazy CPA and crazy conversions and ROAS, I would have bumped away higher and continued to bump it throughout the day. But like I said, this was right around the start of everything. So I didn't want to scale too hard and break it or anything like that. So yeah, this was like a crazy day one for me. Going into day two here, we spent $384 on ads and we got back a return of 1.5K already, which is nuts. All I did for this day was literally copy and paste that same CBO that I had on day one three more times. And like, I've only had one single 1K day before this. Like I was, I've been drop shipping for a while at this point. And like, this was just nuts for me that I hit it on the second day and I already did 400 bucks in profit. And this was just like crazy. So going into day three, it was literally just a rinse and repeat. I ran the same campaigns and also had a few more. We spent 338 bucks and we got back a return of right around 1200. Um, this was like still over like a three row as, which is crazy. Um, and like, this was just such a good sign for like starting out testing a product. And like, I just couldn't believe that I did two 1K days back to back. It was like literally crazy for me. So day four here was a Monday and it was kind of a flop. We only did five orders for 180 bucks and we spent 90 bucks here. So we still had a two rows, but the thing is, like I said, this was just the start of everything. And like, I was brand new to scaling. So I was literally scared to like run ads on a Monday because I thought I would lose money because Mondays were usually bad for me. But like looking back on it now, like if I just like, I would have been fine, like running the same campaigns and everything that I did. So <laughs> yeah, that was just kind of like a funny little side note. But as we continue on the next day, the same thing happened again. We hit 1.3K. If we go on the ads manager here, it was literally just, at this point, I think I had like nine or 10 just of the same first CBO that I ran, uh, four ad groups and the four creatives that I had. And I was just bumping their budget throughout the day. So the next day here on the 14th, like I said, it was just time to hit the pedal and like just really scale it. So I launched like, I think five more CBOs this day at 6 a.m. at 50 bucks budget. And I just bumped the budgets as they were profitable throughout the day. As we can see on this campaign, we spent 279 on it. We had over four ROAS, eight CPA, same with this campaign. And like they were showing really profitable. And all I was doing is just bumping budget on the good ones and turning off the ones that weren't showing promising signs throughout the day. So we spent 793 and we had our biggest day yet of 3.2k which was crazy and like at this point right here like i literally profited right here 1.2k and i was just mind blown that i just made a thousand dollars in a single day 
And as you can see right here, I was live tweeting my progress and my goals throughout this entire time. And I even have a tweet right here on May 31st that my goal for the month of June would be 10K revenue. And I already hit that just like a few days in. So like this whole like experience was like crazy for me now. And like, I just felt on top of the world. So going into the 15th here, it was just another rinse and repeat, the same exact thing. Uh, we spent a thousand dollars this day and it was just the same strategy with the CBOs and I was surfing them up and we did another 3.8K. So at this point, this was our biggest day yet. And this is also where everything changed for me, guys. So what I noticed was even though I was spending more money every single day, I was still maintaining, you know, a good ROAS and a good CPA and my margins were there, like no matter how much I spent. So the exact method that I used here is just bulk importing CBOs and surfing them throughout the day. I have a video tutorial about this exact method and how to do the bulk imports and all the signs that I'm looking for with surfing my campaigns. So if you want to see that, guys, you can click below and join. Uh, I'll get more into that a little bit later. But what I noticed at this point is the more I spent, like my CPAs, my ROAS and my profit margin was just all maintaining the same. And even though I spent more money, like nothing was falling off, it was still going well. So I knew like this is where something needed to change. This day was crazy, guys. So on Friday, the, si the 16th, we went from 1K and 3K days. This day we spent 8.7K and we got back a return of 21K in one day. And this is the profit, like boom. Like I just made literally 4K in a single day. And it was like just absolutely insane. And like, I couldn't believe it. So since I spent 8.7K this day, like as you can see in this tweet here, like this is like kind of when everything started blowing up. Um when you guys are able to actually scale something really high and to spend a lot in a day and if it's your first time doing it you're gonna run into the same issue as me you're gonna have cash flow issues so literally throughout the day like i was spending so much so fast i was literally getting into my paypal and doing instant transfers to my bank account so i could be able to afford the threshold when tiktok went to bill me for my ads and it was just insane. Like I even had my dad, I'm like, you just need to transfer me money right now. Like I'll explain later, just trust me. And it was like literally crazy. So we profited right here, almost $5,000. And this was like, like I said, just mind blowing. Up until this point, like since the beginning of the year, I was tweeting out my whole journey on Twitter with e-commerce and everything. I literally was tweeting to 13 followers this entire time about my goals. It was just kind of like a notepad for me. And my Twitter at this point started like blowing up. I had a 4K hour at 10 p.m. My phone was literally just going to ching, to ching, to ching, and it was just nuts. So as you can even see here, like I was literally surfing the budgets on some of these campaigns up to 10K, and I was spending so fast, guys. So this night, since you know I knew I had cash flow issues, I literally applied for an Amex Business Gold credit card at 2.30 a.m. and I got instantly approved, which was like so perfect. And like amazing because now like the cash flow issue that I had wasn't there. I don't need to wait for my payouts to be able to pay for the ads. I just can just have a credit line. So going into the next day on the 17th here on Saturday, we spent 3.2K with a return of $11,000. And like, like I said, this was just crazy. We did another 3.6K profit right here. And by this point, my back end was starting to get built out a little bit more. Um, I negotiated my supplier costs to be the lowest that they could possibly be. And I'll be honest, like I was a bit overwhelmed at this point too, guys, because I just had gotten a VA in to do my customer support emails. I was doing them all myself up until this point. What's good guys, so I just had to cut in right here really quick because I was watching this back and I started rambling on like a straight up NPC bot. So. All I was getting at is right around this time, I met my business partner, Fritz, and he's been in e-com for about eight years. Some of you guys might know him. He's built, scaled, and exited multiple seven-figure brands, which is crazy. So I was super lucky to meet him right around this time. And what he did for me on the store was we implemented in our email flows. We added 3.6K revenue in just a few days, which was crazy. It was basically like free money going into my pocket because 
let's say I had a day where the ads weren't as profitable as I needed them to be because of the amount of email revenue I was getting with the flows that we implemented on Clavio, I was able to scale my ads so much higher just because I had so much more wiggle room from the email revenue. So me and him still work together to this day and we have our own discord called Rippy Club. And in that discord, I'm literally posting a full product reveal. I'm showing you guys all the exact creatives that I use. And I'm also going to be going way more into depth about the ad strategy that I use. So you guys are going to be able to see firsthand what something that's able to scale this hard on TikTok looks like. And I'm going to explain in depth why it was able to work. So I'm going to be posting that right in the discord. And because of all the skin in the game that we have from all the members that are in Rippy Club, we have literally every single e-commerce resource that you need locally in our Discord under the sun. So the Clavio flows I, I just mentioned that was implemented on my store that did the 3.6K revenue. It's called Inbox Invaders. We've already implemented this on a few of our member stores and you know, just the first few simple flows are adding thousands of dollars in revenue in the first few days for some people. So if you guys are scaling, don't have email flows on your store yet, we're able to get that for you. We have our own UGC agency. Rippy UGC has worked with a ton of big brands before. If you guys are scaling and you guys need new creatives, they're dying out or whatever the issue is, we can get you guys UGC for your product. We have an amazing lineup of creators. Like I said, we just worked with a ton of big brands before and it's all proven structures that will actually convert in high quality. Fritz also has his own US 3PL warehouse. So brands that are scaling order bulk over there and you know we ship out from US. We have amazing rates and way faster shipping times in like three days. We have all of our exact ad strategies that we use on here written out in every platform for Facebook, for TikTok especially, for Snapchat. Testing and scaling is a big issue for a lot of people with just straight up running the ads. We literally have everything written out in depth. I promise you guys they're different from every other guru and they actually work. They're actually what we use and they're super fire. Of course, we also do calls all the time, just dropping sauce for everyone, doing Q and A's. And I'm also just in the chat every single day, just helping everyone out, basically one-on-one. -on -one. People will send me screenshots of their ad manager. I tell them what I would do next. We have a bunch of other people in there that are always helping each other out and it's a super fire community. These are just some of the wins that we have from some of our members that, and it's just awesome because, you know, some of these people worked with us for, with the UGC and the email services. So it's just cool that we're able to add that and just help everyone grow their store. So yeah, it's just a super fire community. You guys should join up Rippy Club. It's only 50 bucks. And if you don't like it, cancel, whatever. So yeah, back to the case study. So going to this next day on the 18th, we did 4.1K in revenue and we spent right around 1300 on ads. And as you can see in this tweet here, like I said, I was live tweeting everything about how it was happening. Um, TikTok has a threshold on my account of $2,000. So every $2,000 I would spend, they bill me. So I literally couldn't go over that amount of spend just because like I wouldn't be able to afford the ads. So I was still waiting for all my payouts and my Amex to come in the mail at this time. So I was only able to start ads at 3 p.m. later in the day and we still did 4.1K and had great profit right here. So on this next day on the 19th, we did 1.4K and I literally wasn't able to run ads throughout the day. This revenue is just organic and from the emails and stuff. Um, and then my Amex came in the mail at literally 5 p.m. and I was able to get it on my account and launch the ads, which is funny. And we were still able to hit 1K that day with a decent margin. So that was funny for that. And then just moving forward guys on the 20th, Boom, 10.8K day, running the same strategy with just bulk importing CBOs and surfing them up. We had 4.3K in spend. On the 21st, we spent 3.9K and we got back 10.3K. It was another 10K day. This is the profit. And this was just like crazy at this point. I was just cha ching in everywhere. And right here on the 22nd, we spent 3.4K and we got back 7.5K. Right around this time too, like I said, uh, I was able to set up a LLC and a Chase Business Bank account. So that was pretty awesome. And just like another thing that I learned that I had to do throughout this time of scaling. So the 23rd actually, if we can see here on our ads manager, we spent 437 bucks and we got back $1,000 in revenue. And this was actually the last day of me running this product guys. So. 
I'll get more into depth about that and the Discord and the other videos that I do in there about this case study and go into more details. But yeah, so overall, guys, the total profit for this two week run was 20.4K, which was absolutely insane. Like I said, it was just the start of my e com career and just where everything took off and where I learned the most. And I have not slowed down since. Like I said on my Twitter, I literally live tweet my whole journey throughout every single day and everything I'm doing. Just to be relatable to you guys because I promise I'm no different. And you know, the only one single magic answer to make dropshipping and just anything you do in your life work, guys, is consistency, consistency, consistency. I can't say it enough. It's the only thing that guarantees everything. And guys, your life can just change in an instant like that and you have no clue how close you are. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be going into more depth about this whole case study along with revealing the product and the exact ads within my Discord. So you guys can join that below. And like I said, we're helping people out in there every single day and do calls all the time. You guys can ask questions or whatever, which is awesome. So yeah, I hope this just gave you guys a ton of value and just motivated you because before this, like I've done like a few thousand bucks in revenue, nothing crazy profitable. And this was like kind of like the very first start of my come up. So I promise I'm no different than you guys. And it just all comes with consistency. That's the only magic answer I can give to anybody is just staying at it because it's impossible to not work as long as you're consistent. I live tweet my whole journey every single day and just always am giving updates and, you know, always helping people out and stuff. So thank you boys for watching and I hope we can all eat this Q4. So let's get it.